Welcome to Brookwood Croquet, Menu. I will now describe the options available at the start of the game. First of all, you can load a previously saved game, click on this box. Up to five games will be listed and you can load one of those. You can also select a short game. The various options are one ball, 14 point and 18 point. If you wish to, you can start from a preset leave position, typically diagonal spreads for triple peel or sextuple peel. You can choose to play in level or handicap. If you click on handicap, the next screen will give you the opportunity to add the number of bisques per player. You can choose the accuracy, shooting accuracy uh, for various classes of player, A, B or C. C is twice is as inaccurate as A and B is one and a half times as inaccurate. You can choose the lawn speed from 13 plumbers fast to eight plumbers slow. You can choose the hoop width by clicking on this button. You can iterate through a range of hoop widths from garden croquet to championship croquet. You can choose how hard the hoop is in the ground from soft to clay, hard, probably clay. And then of course you can click start. And here you can enter the bisques by scrolling on the number you can add the number of bisques and that will appear up in the top section. Using the buttons. I'll now describe the various buttons which appear on the playing screen. The starting point of course is to play a ball. Along the top you have the four colours. Whoever wins the toss chooses the first colour. In this case we'll play blue. You can play the blue from balk A or balk B. In this case we'll choose balk A. Then you can use the slider to move the ball from one end to the other end of the balk. You chose a position, you then may want to choose a direction. Choose the mallet and then use the left and right arrow keys to rotate the mallet around the ball. You are always shooting directly up the screen. Having chosen the direction, you can then choose the shot strength. If you left click on these buttons, they increase by 10. If you right click, they go down by 10. If you roll the scroll wheel, you can increase and decrease the number by a single digit. And the second one is for decimal numbers, decimal yards, 0 to 0.9 of a yard, operated by scrolling the wheel. Having chosen strength, you can shoot. Note that you've now selected the striker's ball. No other balls are available until the turn comes to an end. Good, so you can now choose the next ball. I won't do that, I'll go on to explain the labels. You'll notice lift sightings and lift contacts. They will be subject to a separate video. Close button, on clicking gives you options to close yes or no, choose no. Save button gives you opportunity to save the game. Select a previous game, there are no previous games, and there may have been up to five, so you can choose one to overwrite or you can start a new one. In this case, you can start a new one. Enter my details, myself. Dates automatic, save the game. That's now saved and can be retrieved, provided it is not overwritten. Step forward and step back are um, buttons really only to be used in the case of an error taking place and they want the ball to return to position, not to be used Normally, otherwise they can, if used back and forth several times, lead to errors developing. Buttons here give you distances. Distance from the playing ball. At the moment we have no playing ball, so we'll choose red. Put it onto the lawn. And then if we click on one, if we hover over one rather, uh, it gives a distance of 6.04 metres to hoop one. If you click on it, it will point you directly at the hoop and tell you the distance. Distance to hoop two, you can see, is 27 meters. That's useful for directing. That is aiming at the center point of the hoop. Color, if you hover over the colors, uh, you will also see the distance to those colors. Uh, that's the color, black, the blue, it's already on the lawn, is 13 yards. Uh, if you click on the color, you'll be aimed directly at that color, right directly at blue. You can also got the peg and four corners as targets. This 
box here as I said earlier gives you the distance to that target so distance to peg 18.19 yards moving down we have two sliders normal and slow currently it's set at standard speed you can go slow or if you want to speed up the game the shooting time you can speed up so if we now shoot the mallet at blue and a 20 yard shot shoot you'll see it will go very much quicker next slider is the jump angle should you wish to do a jump shot normally if you choose the mallet oh, we need to choose a fresh ball bring the ball onto the lawn 4k mallet mallet is normally playing flat or horizontally at the moment of impact if you want to do a jump shot you can you can choose the angle 35 degrees uh, we can reset the mallet by clicking it off and on you'll now see it's much inclined and if you use these outer paler green arrows you can rotate the scene without rotating the mallet so you can now see what happens when you play the shot I uh, will play the shot at normal at slightly at a slower speed to show you the effect and there's the ball jumping speed it up to bring it to the end much more rapidly okay that will cancel out each time you play a shot so it'll go back to naught the remaining buttons in this area are if we now choose another ball bring it onto the balk uh, you can use zoom in zoom out you can also scroll out and scroll in just using the mouse wheel with the pointer somewhere near the middle of the screen you can raise or lower the level of the eyes of the person playing stop shot when turned on means if you play a shot there'll be no follow through of the mallet then you've got t and c t gives you an aerial view just while you hover over the button and in that aerial view the size of the balls and the hoops are exaggerated to make it clear you can also use top view in the center here click on top view that gives you the chance to scroll in and out and i view turns it again if you go to t and you scroll you can scroll in and out while hovering over t i will now explain the croquet options red is about to rotate blue when it hits it you'll see additional buttons appear here and an hourglass when the hourglass stops meaning the balls will come to rest you can then join the balls as for a croquet fine take off left fine take off right or we're now with in line this introduces another slider the slider allows you to determine the amount of roll one being a an equal roll or a pass roll or let us do a half roll if we now choose the mallet you see the mallet is inclined and you can hover over the C to see directly down uh, which you may want to do when you change the direction of the shot these buttons move the mallet but these buttons change the directions of the balls so you can aim at a specific point you want to aim the balls at uh, hoop 4 that's doing that and then you can rotate the mallet for a split angle you want to go to peg Choose the strength of shot and then shoot and you'll see the shot split. There. Once the balls have come to rest, you'll see the colour buttons appear. And you'll notice there's a cross, cross in blue because blue has been used, so it cannot be used again. Moving to the left of the screen, we have three buttons l c and r they give c gives you a view directly down the center of the ball l to the left r to the right this can be useful when lining up at hoops next you have 0.18 that indicates the accuracy of the shooting it is in ball diameters at 10 yards so in this case 0.18 ball diameters to the left is approximately 20 millimeters to the left 
that's not too bad a shot. Moving across here now, we have three tabs. The guide tab, if you click on the guide tab, that will open up the guide, which is in 12 pages. And if you hover over these buttons, then you'll get all 12 pages. You can click on the button if you want to hold a particular page. And you can click on either of these two buttons. These are links to this Croquet Association rules for association croquet and for garden croquet. If you want to remove it, click the guide off again. Then you have option buttons. These will come and go. First one is Mallet Clash. If you don't click on Mallet Clash, then the computer will tell you if you're about to position the mallet where it would clash with another ball or a hoop. If you want to finally position a mallet, then you can click on that or click it off, turn it off, and two nudge buttons appear, which allow you to nudge your mallet side to side. If we just set a mallet up at the ball and we click on the nudge buttons, we see the mallet moving sideways. Let's put that back. Next button is check ball collision. If you're shooting at a hoop and there's a ball there and you want to be certain that you had a ball contact, then clicking on that toggle button, then the computer will tell you if you have hit you hit the ball at that time. Flags on and off. Uh, if you're playing from a corner and you uh, are hampered by flags or corner pegs, you can turn them off. That will hide the flags. Ball drag on. By clicking ball drag on, it allows you to maneuver the player's ball. You can now drag this ball. Now the balls will move. So if I want to position it against another ball, I can do so. Where other balls will stay in position. Going back, short backswing reduces the backswing to one third of the normal backswing, which can be useful in hamper positions. Set piece mode if start at the beginning of the game means you can position four balls without having to worry about striker's ball, etc. And you can play them in the order you choose. Helpful for setting up set pieces. And if you are interested, if you click on this, you will have some background bird song, which you can turn on or off. And then there's the correction tab, where there are a number of corrections. First one allows you to change the number of bisques. The second one allows you to change the score. If a ball has not been registered when it passes a hoop or something's gone wrong, you can change the score. So blue can be have now run through hoop one. Take it off again. Close that. You can correct the striker's colour very occasionally. The computer will get the next colour wrong, and if you click on that, it gives you the opportunity to choose which the next striker's colour is, so we can check, make it to be yellow, for example. Close that. You can adjust the yard line balls very occasionally. The balls go off the lawn, don't come back to the yard line position. Should that occur, if you click on that, any ball outside of the yard line would be brought onto the yard line except a ball which is just play the croquet shot. Also, sometimes the sequence can get wrong We're in playing a croquet shot. By clicking this button, that will clear that sequence and you can start afresh. And finally, very occasionally, balls may get out of control. If you click on that, it will stop all movement, including spinning mallets. That's it for the buttons, apart from the lift and contact buttons, which will be part of the next video.